this is what healing waters is really here to remind us of. What are these healing waters? Oh. One could say that one healing water is the love, but another healing water, well, then it wouldn't be healing. That's the point. Water is as healing as it is as destructive. How is it destructive? Oh, I don't know. Look around the world. See the floods in Boulder. See the melting glaciers in all. Attacking a town that is vulnerable on a minute. This time last year, the robot floods in Europe. In France. In Great Britain. And the undertow. That's another thing I wanted to mention. The undertow. Big waves. You can rise above. Of. Okay. Okay. But water is healing. Provides so many wonderful things to us. Nourishment, hydration, development of the mind, development of the body. Water works wonders. The triple W, water works wonders. However you're experiencing water, be it in the shower, be it drinking, be it in the sink, be it in a pool, be it in a bath, be it in the ocean, be it in the sea, be it in a river, lake, stream, or if you were to go outside in the morning and feel the morning dew. Whatever it is. Know that that water carries sacred wisdom, sacred memory, and sacred vibration. You can't live without water. We know this. Water is the way. Water is the way. What is it the way towards? Is it a wave towards? Get it? I said a wave. What is it? Is it a white foamy wave that you see when you're in Michigan in two th summer 2015? You know, what is it? Is it just in a cauldron? Is it just in a vial glass? Is it just stilt? Is it color? Is it flavored with anything? Or is it just straight, pure water? Does it matter? Well, that's an important question. It does, but mildly, because let's face it, we all live in different parts of the world, we all have access to different things. 
to varying degrees, and it could be quantity of things as well. Let's face that fact. Let's face the fact that not everyone is going to be around an ocean, a stream, a river, a pond. You name it. Because we're all different. We all live different lives, different settings, at different times. Unless you are somebody who just is content where you live and you want to remain there for years and years and years for your whole entire life. It's a free country and you can make your, that decision if you want to. That's fine. That is totally fine. What is it that we can all tap into? That no matter where you live in the world, you can tap into that. Now you may be asking me, what about a desert? What about a desert? without water. Well, there is water. Maybe it's a little bit of water. Maybe it's just water comes organically or whatever you have. I don't want to split and categorize and limit people. Oh, you have more, oh, you have less. This whole checkerboard deal. Because that is not the way to unification. It's separation. And water connects us. We're all in this water of divinity. And we can be boundless in connection to one another. We found a way to transport ourselves from one part of the world through another. Yes, through planes, trains, and automobiles, but also through water, ships, canoes, boats, all those things through water. We are inseparable, but separate. We all stem from the same thing and split up, but we're all unified, especially now with technology, especially now as we live in this Aquarian world. Especially. And it will keep going in that direction. Let's just keep riding along that path. Indeed we will. We had a Saturn and Uranus square multiple times exactly last year. Saturn is restriction. Uranus is freedom. Saturn is limitation. Uranus is breaking out of that limitation, breaking out of that mold in which you just feel like you don't fit or you try to fit or you just want to expand yourself. You just want to evolve. You just want to turn your life into something else. Go in another direction. Go in another path. And Uranus, the planet rules Aquarius, and it is the collective that is how we are all one in humanity, different, separate, but together. Separate unity in diversity. I was about to quote something. But I realized that that quote was inappropriate and does not fit 
what I am saying. What's healing about water? Nourishment. Water helps the earth grow, the plants, everything. Power water. 